learners, welcome back. Today, let's talk about nail structure and nail shapes. Our objectives for today are identify nail structures, identify nail shapes, and perform nail trimmings to varied shapes. Before we proceed to the main discussion, let's have a short review. Last time, you've identified the different nail care tools and equipment used in nail care services. Also, you applied how to properly use them. Let's proceed. Number 1. This nail care tool is used to clean dirt and other cosmetic residue from the nails, a kind of brush made from nylon bristles. Write your answer on our chat box. The correct answer is letter D, manicure nail brush. Number two, a nail care tool that has two sides used for removing calluses and to smoothen the feet. Great, the correct answer is letter C, foot file. Number three, it is a wheeled cart that is used for transporting tools and materials to be used in manicuring and pedicuring. Very good. The correct answer is letter A, trolley. Number four, it is used to remove excess nail polish and implement with pointed and rounded end. Correct. Letter C. Number 5. This is an electronic gadget used to soothe pain from arthritis, muscle spasm, and dry cracked skin of the hand. Right. The correct answer is letter A. Hand spa machine. Okay. Let's proceed with nail structure and shapes. Nail reveals an overall look of your health. It is a part of the skin and made up of the same protein, keratin, as skin and hair. What is a keratin? Keratin is a type of protein that forms the cells that make up the tissue in nails and other parts of your body. Keratin plays an important role in nail health. It protects nails from damage by making them strong and resilient. The technical term for nail is onyx. Our nails grow constantly, but their growth rate slows down due to poor circulation and aging. Adult fingernails grow at an average rate of 1 8 inch a month and the toenails grow more easily. It takes a toenail 12 to 18 months to grow from root to tip. Nails replaces themselves every 4 months and grow more quickly in summer than in winter. Our middle finger grows fastest and the thumb grows slowest. What are the characteristics of healthy nails? Number 1. Smooth Number 2. Shiny And number 3. Translucent Pink What are the purposes of nails? Nails protect the ends of fingers and toes. It helps the fingers grasp small objects. Next, basically flat versions of claws that help humans dig, climb, scratch, grab, and more. It also guards against injuries and serves as protective plates that help prevent the fingers and toes from getting cut or scraped during daily activities and it allows the body to process the volumes of information that it receives every time something is touched and act as a counterforce providing even more sensory input after a person touches something 
So let's study the structure of our nails. Okay. Here we have a diagram of the nails and its structure. Okay, we have the free edge. That's what we cut here. The body of nail. This one. The eponychium. This one. The curved line here. And the cuticle, this is what we remove. And the lunula. Lunula is the moon shape here. Usually, it's color white. And then we have the nail matrix where the blood flows. This one. And then we have the root of nail. This one. Nail bed. Where the body of nail lies. We have here the phalanx. The bone of fingertip. Ayan. Okay. We have the nail body or plate. It is the main part of the nail that is attached to the skin at the tip of the finger. Here's the nail body or the nail plate, this one. Next, nail root. It is where the nail growth begins and it is embedded beneath the skin at the base of nail. Again, Nail root, it is where the nail growth begins and is embedded underneath the skin at the base of nail. We have here the root of nail, this one. Not the darker line, not the darker thin line, but the one attached to it. Yeah. That's the root of nail or nail root. Next, free edge, the end of the nail that extends beyond the fingertip. Okay. Here's the fingertip, and then the free edge of the nail, the excess one. This is what we cut with the nail cutter. Okay, next. Okay. Okay. Now, let's have the structure of the nail beneath the nail. Number four, nail bed. It is the skin's portion beneath the nail body that the nail plates rest upon. It is supplied with blood vessels that provide nourishment to the nail. And so we have here the nail bed. Okay, this one. Where the body of nail attached. Yeah. Here's the body of nail. And the nail bed underneath here. Okay, next, we have the matrix. It contains nerves together with lymph and blood vessels that produce the nail cells and control the rate of nail growth. It is located under the nail root and is very sensitive sensitive part of the nail and if injured it will produce nails with irregular growth and disorders and here's the nail matrix and it is where the blood flows this darker spot and darker line okay next we have the lunula it is the light colored half moon shape at the base of the nail this is where the matrix connect with the nail bed. And this is the lunula. And this one. Next, we have the phalanx. This is the bone of the fingertips. Here's the phalanx. Okay, next, 
the cuticle. You've encountered this before? Cuticle, it is the overlapping skin around the nail. It is the transparent skin that is removed during the manicure process. So we use cuticle We use the cuticle nipper in order to remove this cuticle. Yeah. So this is where the cuticle seen in in this part. Next. Nail fold or mantle. It is the deep fold or the skin at the base of the nail where the nail root is embedded. So we have here the nail root and then the nail fold. And this one. And we have here the cuticle. The one we remove. And then we have the nail fold, this one. Okay, next, nail grooves are the slit or tracks in the nail bed at the side of the nail on which the nail grooves. Okay, so we have here the nail groove. Nail groove. Next. We have the eponychium. It is the thin line of the skin at the base of the nail that extends from the nail wall to the nail plate. Eponychium. So we have here the eponychium. That is where the cuticle lies. Also, eponychium is part. And that one. That's also part of eponychium. Okay, next. Okay, so here's the guide to nail shapes. So we have seven nail shapes. First one, the round. Round. Almond shape. Oval. Then we have the square. Oval, square plus oval. Then we have the stiletto and ballerina. For a closer look, the okay, oval nail is styled slightly rounded at the base and slightly pointed at the fingertips. So we have here oval. Slightly rounded at the base and pointed at fingertip. That one. Next. Square nail. It is a classic and easy to maintain shape of the nail. Okay. So we have here the square shape. And the next, we have the round nail. It is ideal for shorter nails. It goes practically for any finger nail types. Okay, we have the round nail. Squoval nail, their shape looks great on any finger, but it could look great on any fingers with narrow fingers. So we have the squoval. Square plus oval. We have the round here curve at the side part and the square. And next, we have the almond shaped nail. It is filed away at the side to a point at the tip. This shape is very weak as the sides of the nail are totally lost. That's why nails can easily break. Okay, almond shape. 
and pointed okay we have here the file file the side here using a nail file next stiletto or pointed nails perfect for short nail fingers it makes the nail appear very long and pointed yeah. very sharp edge and yeah, very sharp tip and then we have last one ballerina nails or caffeine sheep nails it is perfect for long and strong nails it lengthens wide or short hands. It has a shape of a caffeine but with a square tip. We have square tip. It looks like a caffeine. Okay, let's proceed on how to trim nails. Trimming nails is a simple yet important self-care routine. While trimmed nails look great, they are also less likely to harbor dirt and bacteria which can lead to an infection. So it is very important to trim nails to avoid infection. Okay, here are the steps. First, gather all the materials needed for nail trimmings. Next, of course, wash the nail cutter or any metal implements before using it to remove dust and germs. Dry thoroughly after washing it. Step 3. Before trimming your nails, wash your hands then wipe it with dry towel. This process will help in softening the nails and make it easier to cut. Or cut your nails in a place where you can clearly see what you are doing to avoid cuts or injury into the nails. Now, decide the shape of your nail. After deciding, lift the nail cutter and start cutting your nails to your desired shape. Step 6. Start cutting your nails. From your pinky or little finger up to the thumb. Step 7. Make at least two or three cuts of a fingernail. Follow the curve of the nail to get a clean cut. Check skin flops after each cut and remove carefully. Step 8. Smooth and even or rough edges using a nail file or emery board. Always file the nail in the same direction as filing back and forth can weaken your nails. Step 9. Moisturize after trimming to help keep your nails flexible. This is especially important when the air is dry as dry nails split more easily. And lastly, we have step 10. If you notice a change in the color, texture, or shape of your nail, consult a doctor. While well, some changes are harmless, others could be a sign of a disease, such as melanoma or an infection, such as a nail fungal infection. It's activity time! Prepare your module number 3 and answer independent activity number 1, independent assessment number 1, independent activity number 2, what I have learned, what I can do, and assessment. Well done, learners! I hope you learned something new about nail structure and nail shapes. See you again next meeting. Goodbye!